Oliver sat down and ate some cereal. What the hell? He regretted hanging up on Edith last night and contemplated calling her again later today. Show yourself. I'll mess you up. Dude, that knife ain't real. Why was that even in the... Show yourself! Who are you? What are you? I'm your narrator. Oh my god, I've gone insane. It finally happened. You haven't gone insane. This is real. This doesn't make any sense. Says who? Okay, why are you narrating my life? Because it's my job. I it's your job just to mess with me? Yes, actually. Just pretend that I'm not here. Go on, finish your cereal. Oliver wondered if he was dreaming. He contemplated jumping off a tall building to see if he'd wake up. He would not. Oliver failed for the seventh time to beat the final boss in Death Destroyers 3. Do you really have to say that every single time that I die? Yes. Uh. In eight seconds, Oliver will accidentally send a text containing a racial slur to Edith. That's ridiculous. I would never... Oh, shit! Don't you just hate autocorrect? Shut up! Oliver noticed a rash on his penis. Are you kidding me? Oliver wondered if his friends thought he was weird. He quickly remembered that he had no friends. God, just shut up! Oliver couldn't understand that asking me to shut up was futile. Oliver questioned his reality, reflecting on the past five days. He came to the conclusion that he has no true understanding of what makes sense and what doesn't anymore. Furthermore, Oliver wondered if he should see a doctor about the rash on his penis. Stop talking about my penis! What are you doing? I'm building a tracking device. What? I'm building a tracking device so I can hunt you down and beat the piss out of you. Right. And you plan on building this tracking device out of a stapler and rubber chicken? That is the plan, yes. That doesn't make any sense. Says who? Right? Alright, alright. I see what you're doing. It's very cute. But come on, there's no way you'll be able to... Finished. What? The tracking device. It's finished. There, there's no way that actually works. Holy shit. I'm coming for you. Alright, alright. Calm down. Seriously, dude. Can we just talk about this? Dude. Come on. Go home. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay? Dude, I'm warning you. You're not gonna like what you find. Oh my 
Hey, don't, don't look behind the dumpster. Hi. What the hell even are you? I'm a goblin. My my name also happens to be Goblin. A goblin named Goblin. <laughs> That's the only thing that makes sense! You, uh, still gonna kick my ass? What? Nah, nah. I'm too tired from all the running to get here. Okay, cool. So, like, what? Goblins just go around narrating people's lives? Well, most of us hunt human for sport, but I I've never really been much of a fan of violets. What were you doing behind a dumpster anyway? I'm homeless. <sighs> God damn it. Holy fuck. This shit is tasty. So, goblins are real, huh? Uh-huh. Most mystical creatures are magic, too. And I assume you're magic, too? Yeah, check this out. Please never do that again. So, why do you keep hanging up on Edith? I thought you could read my mind. I did, but I want to hear you say it. Why? Well, you fed me cookies, so I want to help you out with your shit. There's no shit to work through. As we've established, I could read your mind, so you can't lie to me. What are you afraid of? Rejection, I guess. And why would she reject you? I've seen your memories. You guys get along well. I'm just not good for her, okay? Why? I'm a freak, alright? Is that what you want me to say? You're a freak. And what would you call me? I listen to disco music, and it's 2023. I have this annoying tick. I, I play with Legos at age 19, and oh god, I liked season eight of Game of Thrones. And look at me now. I'm, I'm getting relationship advice from a goblin whose name is Goblin right after I gave him cookies. And where are the cookies now? Maybe there never were cookies. I don't know. Maybe there were. Maybe there weren't. Let me ask you something. Why do you find it so hard to believe that I'm real? Because it's common knowledge that goblins are real. And yet here I am. Now taking my undeniable existence into account, why do you think you're a freak? Because from where I'm sitting, you seem about as normal as everyone else. Normal? Huh? I look normal to you? Yeah, I guess I do.
do look normal compared to you. Know. I swear to God, if this doesn't work, it's your ass, dude. Seriously. So how things go with Edith? Good. Okay, so just so we're 100% on the same page, I'm not dreaming, right? Would it be scary if you weren't? I'm magic. Duh. Why were you homeless then? Who's gonna rent out an apartment to a goblin? Touche. Yeah, seriously though, you should probably get your dick checked out. 